What's up, guys? So we are back here with Arc World sneak peek number four, and we got some new images here for you. Tier seven weapons and armor have been shown off. This is the tier seven look and appearance for it looks like the great sword there. We're not sure what kind of armor that is. That looks maybe leather. I don't know on that. Uh, could be plate with the thing there. But there's also going to be Kraken Luna Stones. And so these Luna Stones right over here, we've uh, zoomed in a little bit. We can kind of make this out. It looks like 3% chance to absorb, uh, to absorb, 3% chance to something absorb 10,000 damage for five seconds upon receiving hits, maybe? Once uh, triggered, not going to get triggered again for 300 seconds, maybe. So this does look like it goes on your loot or flute as well. So that looks to be what we're getting out of that. Then we have the Kraken Tentacles. So very excited for this. These are trade packs, as you can see. Once you kill the Kraken or there's a Kraken event of some sort, you're going to get Kraken Tentacles that you're going to have to take as a trade pack and then turn them in somewhere. So very, very cool. Then we get our first look at the Lumia mission over here. And this is causing some concern for people because not only does it show Lumia, but it also says normal fishing, sports fishing. Uh, it has this thing for salvage right here. And then it has a sea hunt, it looks like. So right here, it looks like a little menu that you're going to you know, interact with on your house. And you're going to be able to put a Lumia, which is going to be considered a pet. So they show a cat here with a pirate hat. So it's Harani pirate cat. Uh, it looks like an epic great quality there. And then you're going to be able to support it with a boat. So one of the boats that you have crafted and made in game. Uh, this is a heroic Asteria merchant ship, it looks like. We can't see, but M-E stands for probably merchant is my guess. Down below, it's going to say dispatch settings. And you're going to get some rewards off of this. On the right here, it's going to show you the rare rewards that you can earn. And then the basic reward is that blue Archeum, which they talked about in the other sneak peek. So this right here, to me, sounds like a system where you're going to be able to like kind of AFK, farm some materials if you're not logged in. You're going to be able to send off your pets. You're going to send off your boats that you have. And you're going to go and, and let them farm automatically. There is some kind of cost associated. You can see down at the very bottom here, there's some kind of cost. There is a limit. So it's saying let's do this like 15 times right here. Success rate, 100% chance uh, because you have put some good, you know, good resources in there. You put the Lumia, which is an epic, and you put the heroic boat, which that's going to definitely boost up your chances. You can see it's green here, meaning that these things have probably affected the results. And then we have, um, looks like, rare supply and counter rates and it looks to see, be about like a 26 percent right there so again boosted because of the items and the equipment that you've put into this thing then it says time so 30 minutes cost is minus one percent uh, total attempt 15 because that's what we put up there total time is going to be seven hours and 30 minutes total cost is going to be 1140 and it looks like your cost down here, you have, you know, a supply right there. So you'll be able to possibly do some AFK fishing and AFK sports fishing in the same kind of menu if you're not there. But this does not mean that I don't expect them to have active fishing and active, you know, like events going on. They are showing off the trade packs like to the right over or the left over here with the Kraken. These things, these tentacles are trade packs and they show them on the back of a character which means you're going to have to transport them physically to a location. But it also gives an option for those people that are wanting to do kind of Farmville style and just simply log into the game and kind of AFK, click some buttons, come back every 12 hours or 6 hours or you know 24 hours and check on their resources. I would imagine that if they're doing this, this AFK stuff, you're not going to get as good of rewards as actively playing. That's how I would design this kind of system that you could still get some things if you are, you know, AFK away, sending off your pets. You might want to be able to, you know, make multiple different pets as well because you could probably have multiple different pets working on these different activities. Same thing with boats. You might want to have multiple different boats so that you can send them off on multiple different, like, missions almost and then getting these rewards. 
You'll notice too that over here, these things are basic and grand. So, you know, tier one and tier two on these rewards, and those are the rare rewards. We don't know if this is from like the tent or if this is from like the basic house. Uh, we did hear something in sneak peek number three, I wanna say, that like the bigger the house, the better rewards that you're gonna get off of the luminous system. So this could be off of a tent, which is gonna get basic rewards. And then once you get up to like the mansions, you could actually get, you know, purple or legendary yellow rewards. Who knows? We don't know what the system will entail, but this is what the sneak peek is showing us. And I am excited. This is definitely showing you that there's going to be a lot of meat to this update. This is not a minor update. This is going to be a massive update on September 6th. Of course, Tier 7 will be out of reach for almost everyone in the entire game. Even the top player probably will not access Tier 7 for at least a couple of months, is my guess. Because it's going to cost a lot of money for him to just pump into the Archeum and pump up all of the resources. Maybe even years for them to even go to tier seven. We'll see if they make things easier to progress or not. But yes, there's at least something to work for, which is something that the whales definitely need. Like if the whales don't have something to work for, there's no reason for them to really like spend money. And then when they're not spending money, they're not distributing it to the rest of the server. The, the whales need to be buying things for money to be flowing into the game. If you read the white paper, you can see they designed it based on the pyramid. The top 1% is going to be spending all the money for the most part, and then it's going to trickle down to the free-to-play players who are farming the basic mats and selling and buying things. So... I will talk to you guys later. Let me know. What do you think about this sneak peek? Are you excited? There was also some other big news about Arc Age and Arc Age Unchained. We'll talk about it in a different video. Huge news there. Uh, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.